is an interesting story. So I'm sure you guys know of Breitbart, which was started by Andrew Breitbart, a crazy right winger and former CEO of Steve Bannon, who's a huge racist and bigot. Um, but this report shows that uh, Breitbart.com's readership numbers are plummeting. So they're plummeting while Steve Bannon is a um, he was a former national security advisor and he's a counselor. He's the advisor to the president. But uh, here's what Raw Story says. They say, This year was supposed to be a time of triumph for the alt-right website Breitbart.com and its readers. The website CEO Steve Bannon became one of the most powerful men in the country, a senior White House advisor with a reputation for ruthlessness in the name of forwarding his white nationalist ideology. However, according to Vanity Fair's Tina Nguyen, Breitbart.com has racked by internal struggles uh, struggles in recent months and is seeing its once plentiful traffic numbers take a steep dive. This is great because Breitbart peddles a lot of literal fake news and we covered it. Uh, there was this one case where they just blatantly lied and the police were like, what the hell are you saying? So they had made up something that ISIS had done something that they didn't do. Um, back in November, Breitbart's post Bannon CEO, Larry Solo, Solov, Solov, uh, boasted that the website's reader base is deep and loyal and predicted that the right-wing news hub would continue to be one of the most trafficked blogs in the world. Quote, while several publishers have enjoyed an uptick in traffic due to election coverage, we are proud to have built a massive and deeply rooted community that will remain long after the election cycle fades, Salaf said. I don't know, man. Once the alt-right fades, we need to kick in. I think that once Trump loses... um. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to get there, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get there, hopefully. I'm hoping, really hoping. Uh, for a few weeks stretching into early 2017, that appeared to be true. In February, a press release from Breitbart.com uh, announced that they were, quote, the 29th most traffic site in the United States, surpassing Pornhub and ESPN. They had, they had surpassed Pornhub in February, okay? That's a tough job, okay? That's tough. The numbers speak for themselves, is what he said. Just a few months later, the numbers have a different story to tell. As of May 26, 2017, the same web ranking analysis, analytics, oh, sorry, not analytics, analytics company that Brad Bart drew its numbers from in January, Fox News is the 64th most traffic site in the country. Huffington Post is at 60. BuzzFeed is at 50. The Washington Post, on the strength of a series, eye popping scoops is at 41. Breitbart, she said, is in 281st place. So I want to know from you guys, why do you think that the readership has plummeted so hard? What's up, guys? It's Saul Hill here. You guys are watching the Progressive Voice. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail, and we need your help.